This National RTAP training tutorial for GTFS Builder focuses on what is GTFS and should my agency proceed. We're hoping that in a summary of ways in which GTFS is used and for you to consider what it will take to build GTFS data in-house. Have you shopped for an airline ticket where you wanted to compare prices and times and numbers of transfers, none of that would be possible without standardized and digitized data. I think I've heard it might have taken 25 years for the airline industry to organize itself and be certain that we can now easily compare flight details and make our best choice. General Transit Feed Specification, GTFS, offers that same forthcoming experience as each agency that partners and organizes their data in a standardized, digitized way in which one data set will offer many displays. We'll show you a few examples of that. And ultimately, riders have an online trip planner where they can not only plan trips within your agency's service area, but also interagency trips. We believe that by offering general transit feed specification to riders as a trip planner, you're literally turning on worldwide marketing. Riders can find your agency, and all of this is at no additional cost to your budget. The need to help riders who are low English proficiency and the Title VI languages will show you how GTFS can assist in that way as well. It may be visible on this screen, but sometimes when you're trying on the size of your cell phone to read the details of a schedule and then find out when they return or maybe connect to a next service are really quite challenging for most people, especially with an older cell phone. So what we're doing by standardizing and organizing this data is taking this PDF and making it a clickable map where a rider can see their departure time, their arrival time, without needing to carry a printed or even an electronic schedule. If we wanted to visit family, if the Macaw Reservation were open to visitors, we're going to spin through a few examples. If we were in Seattle and we wanted to travel out to Nia Bay and visit the Macaw Indian Reservation, and we didn't have a car and we didn't have 163 miles worth of gas, would there be another trip plan option? And by selecting the transit option, we can now see a trip plan, maybe in the other direction, but a trip plan between those places where a rider could get on and arrive via Greyhound into Seattle. If we were just traveling between Forks and the Macaw Cultural and Research Center on the reservation, we could see all of our trip plan details, including all of the bus stops along the way, which can sometimes be helpful if someone can't see the signs as you're driving. And you might want to know what is the stop right before the stop that I need to get off at? What am I looking for? Or what will the operator announce before I get to my stop. All of this is very helpful information and because it's standardized, it can be displayed. We can also see the cost of the trip as a dollar, how to buy a ticket ahead. Maybe there's a mobile ticketing option available and uh, who is the operator if I needed to reach them, maybe even a phone number. This same trip is now displayed for someone who's not a native English speaker and they might decide in Spanish to display this information and make it easier for them. We're now beginning to meet Title VI without doing anything additional than standardizing our data. A visitor or a native speaker in Thai language could now use the trip planner, as well as someone who speaks Urdu. The general transit feed specification comes in three different 
formats or flavors, one is the static or published schedule, which is used for fixed and scheduled service as well as the National RTAP GTFS Flex workaround. Many people are hoping to just put a device on the bus and then you have real-time information, hoping to skip the step of doing a static or published schedule. Unfortunately, to publish a real-time schedule that compares to the static schedule, you must have the static GTFS published. The Flex On Demand GTFS is under development. It's been uh, in the test environment and continues to move forward, but is not yet available. And so National RTAP has a workaround for agencies that offer rider must call and on-demand services. We'd like to show another example of what can happen when GTFS is available for a group called walkscore.com. They've put together a heat map or a map that will show you how far you can get from the center of town based on how much time you'd like to spend on transit. And if you can travel for an hour, these are the places you can go. Walkscar notched it up a bit by taking the information that's found on various websites for available rentals, mapped those on top of the bus information, and now depending on how much time I'm willing to walk from a bus stop, I could see if my job was at the center of the Penn State campus where I could live and have a certain amount of commute on transit. They take it up one more notch by saying, I'd like a grocery store within 10 minutes. I'd like a coffee shop within a 20 minute walk. And you can add whatever characteristics you want in order to have the right kind of housing and the appropriate amount of commute. With standardized data, an agency can publish at the Bureau of Transportation Statistics the national transit map. The ultimate goal will be that all dots on this map are green because currently those are only the agencies that are participating. So we will be helping interested agencies to turn themselves on and become available for the national transit map with GTFS data. What do you need to publish GTFS Static? A website where your schedule is available to be viewed. And if you do not yet have a website, National RTAP has Website Builder 3.0 available at no cost and with support from the National RTAP team. A second requirement is that you have at least one fixed route with some times and stops. We will talk about how we can use a stand-in route for an on-demand service and still meet this requirement. The last of the three requirements are that the trips are publicly available. At this point, the service cannot be only available to veterans or seniors. You have some options to manage and publish your GTFS files. One might be to hire a contractor. In your GTFS guidebook is a link to this list that a few years ago was put together with some sample companies that are interested in providing GTFS services. National RTAP does not endorse this list. It's just making it easier for you to identify who might be interested in providing the service to you. Another option is that there are some online services and toolkits. We again cannot promote or discourage you from using them, but we have heard in a few cases that you can definitely generate a GTFS file. You may not own the data that you generate, or there might be a fee alongside of the free toolkit if you want to use your data for anything other than that particular service provider's trip planner. Another option might be a regional agency that could partner with you 
and do some of this technical work using the Excel spreadsheets to generate the files. National RTAP offers GTFS Builder as a no-cost toolkit using Excel spreadsheets. You will need a staff or perhaps a few on your team that have basic Excel skills in order to keep the data up to date. If you want to publish at Google Maps, you would need to sign a no-cost license agreement. National RTAP has prepared a video and recorded webinar with a practicing attorney to review the terms of the license agreement and allow you to better understand it if you're going to be discussing it with your legal office. And this resource is also listed in your GTFS guidebook and it offers a one-hour discussion with an attorney reviewing the terms of the license agreement sample. One of the benefits we've heard more often is that by taking the data and reviewing it in this new standardized way, it offers a fresh look and sometimes information that's been on the website isn't as current as what the operations team knows until they've really had a chance to look it over again. So there are quite a few benefits in managing the data in-house that will result in a more consistent rider experience. The software and hardware that you'll need include a PC or a Mac running in Parallels or Boot Camp, and that PC will have loaded on it Google Earth Pro, the desktop version, and be able to access Google My Maps. We use that tool as well. A copy of Excel, the desktop version there, and that your Excel can run the macros that we offer to help run scripts and generate the files that we need. The two Excel files, as shown on the slide, are named Import, Export, and Schedule Generator. The skills that we need in Excel are to be able to add a row, enter some data, um, and just an interest in learning something. Your interest will be more than any deep dive in Microsoft Excel skills. But we'd like you to be familiar with Excel. Google My Maps, uh, if you're willing to learn about that. Google Earth, your willingness will take you quite far in this project. And our estimate is that about four hours into this project, you'll be quite familiar and capable of generating a route. It will go more easily once you've done one route start to end. The toolkit from National RTAP includes a detailed guidebook which walks you through each data element step by step and where to put that information into the Excel spreadsheets. The data is output from the import export workbook where each of the colored tabs will be equivalent to one of the text files that are needed in a GTFS data set. We have split up the project so that there may be one or more people on your team where if someone's just exceptional with the details of the schedule, they could help with the schedule generator and then that data is output and folded into the import export workbook before we generate our GTFS files. There are tools and validation processes that allow us to not have inconsistent data and correct us before the data gets published. The team at National RTAP is here to help you. We provide no-cost technical assistance, support at nationalrtap.org. Reach out to us. We're here for your success. We thank you for your interest in GTFS Builder.